What's up, people? So it's gonna be a busy day today. I'm gonna be working solo. I'm not gonna be able to work on the top part of the carport because I'm gonna need some help for that. So I'm gonna wait till I get some help from Jason and Danielle. Uh, they're currently working on the tiny house once again. But uh, I wanted to show you some stuff that I did yesterday. I went to the back side of the property, used the tractor and picked up some giant rocks. I brought them up here just for a little bit of landscaping. And then I went to a Home Depot and picked up some Colorado blue spruce trees. I went ahead and planted those in as well and it collected some small rocks from the back of the property and just trimmed up all the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick and then I'll tell you what else I'm gonna get into today. All right guys, so here's what I picked up, these Colorado blue spruce. Yes, I know they will get big. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to grow up on each side of the uh, carport here. It does say to space them 12 to 15 feet apart. I put them probably about eight feet apart and then I'll trim them up if I need to. And it does say right there a hardiness of negative 50. So it will stay green year round. Uh, it says water at least once a week until established. Let's go in and look at them real quick. I love the way they look. It just gives it more of that cabin in the woods feel. I did trim them out at the bottom with some uh, rocks that we have on the property here. They're currently about three feet tall. Then over here in the middle, I found some of these bigger rocks in the back of the property and just used the uh, Mahindra to pick them up and bring them over here. And then I have another one over here, same thing, about three feet tall. Love the way they smell and love the way they look. And then I continued it back over here on the back side as well. Basically just put a tree, rock and trees. These things will definitely grow up big, put off a lot of shade, block some of the wind around the carport. And did the same thing on that side as well. So everything's uniform, looking good. I just gotta go back and water everything. But for now, I gotta get busy working on this carport. All right guys, so I finally made up my mind on what I want to do with this carport. I decided all these four by four posts, I'm going to paint them black, but I'm only going to start from about two feet off the ground up. And then all the two by sixes that run across here, I'm going to paint all those black as well. I probably won't be painting much above those because I think we're going to end up cutting all those off, but I'm going to paint all the posts black and then I have something up my sleeve once I'm done with that. All right guys, so I went with the black satin paint. I'm trying to match the theme over here of Shoot Dang Ranch. It's uh, the buildings are mostly black. Then they have some wood accents with them. I do have uh, some other stuff that I'm gonna show you here in a bit, but for now, let's get to painting.
an hour later it is hot 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 but i have everything painted black now i decided to go all the way to the top of all the posts just because i didn't want to just have a little bit left over i did leave the bottoms unpainted because i do have something in store for that but i gotta hydrate it, it is hot as hell outside oh my gosh Stay hydrated, people. It's hot outside. All right guys, so I made a mistake. It wouldn't be a Jared Crocker video if I didn't. I should not have already put these boards up right here. I forgot, I have to trim it out at the bottom with uh, two by fours. It is what it is. I have two by sixes up top. I'm gonna put two by fours down the bottom. Got a whole bunch of paint stuff on my hands, but uh, I'm gonna have to take these little uh, cedar planks right here off, which is not a big deal. That's why I use some screws in case I messed up, and I did. But uh, anyways, Jason and Danielle are heading back to town, so I'll be out here by myself. I figured, uh, in the meantime, I'll plant some of these uh, banana trees that I picked up a while back. And then I bought a pink lemonade blueberry bush. Who would have guessed? I've never even heard of that before. It was 14 bucks from Lowe's. I said, why not? I'll try it out and see if it'll grow. So I'm going to try to uh, transplant all this stuff over here in, the, in my backyard over here next to the uh, carport. I'm probably going to put it somewhere in here. And then I'll probably build some kind of... Uh, I don't know, some structure or something behind it just to block a little bit of the wind. But I guess for now, I'm going to dig some holes. I'm going to plant these two banana trees. These are uh, Musa Baju, I believe is what they're called. They're, they're the hardiest banana trees that there is from what I read online. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you real quick. All right, so these trees have been doing really good. I put them in these five-gallon buckets, but I think they're actually a little too big for them now. But uh, when I bought them, they are probably half that size. And then down here is that pink lemonade blueberry bush it says grow your own pink lemonade blueberry it says this fruit does not need a pollinator so i only bought one i'm just going to test it out if it grows stuff it grows if not oh well all right guys everybody always says work smart not hard instead of digging i got this so i'm gonna go ahead and use it real quick see how many times it takes me to get this started comment down below i think it's gonna take about three different pulls for me to get this thing started I'm just gonna plant a banana tree, the blueberry bush in front of one, and then a banana tree on the other side. So we'll see what happens. Three tries is what I'm guessing, so let's see. That's one. Oh well.
I got two of the holes dug, one for the blueberry, one for one banana tree, and I need to do the other banana on the other side. Maybe I need to prime it first. Well, shoot dang. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Son of a. Come on, baby. Probably turn the damn thing on. Now you're just messing with me. You son of a. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You. This is live action. Well, shoot, dang. Maybe if I put it right here where I want the banana tree, we'll see what happens. Come on, baby. Son of a. Yes, I know it gets cold here in Oklahoma. I lived in a tent when it was 20 degrees outside, maybe 15 degrees, something like that. If these uh, banana trees do survive, I'll probably cover them with a bunch of straw, mulch and stuff during the winter time. As long as they have little pups that start growing up, I'll be happy. Uh, honestly, if these things don't grow, I honestly don't care. It is what it is. All right guys, so I got some secret soil that I got specifically from Shoot Dang Ranch. I packaged it myself. Who am I kidding? It's the cheapest soil I can find from Lowe's. Good to love. Honestly, like I said, I don't care if this stuff grows. I just like testing stuff out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No skin off my back. I'll put some down in the hole. Some of that hole. Some over there. Put this blueberry bush up front. Cover it with some of this. I bet homesteaders are rolling over in their graves right now. That one's good. move it around it'll be good enough I'm not worried about animals coming out here and eating this stuff we have like 10,000 dogs so if something eats these by all means do your thing boo-boo I don't care that's two done that quick on to the last one if you can't tell I'm pretty easy going There we go. There you go, Jared. You're doing your thing. Oh yeah. That's how we make some food on Shoot Dang Ranch right there. Yeah. Then just for the hell of it, just dump some here. Now I got two extra poop buckets. All that stuff on there. Get some over here. Yeah. Whew. Got 
some of this extra rock I can put around it, make it look all fancy, or as Matt would say, too many nice. Hope I have enough rock. Cook them with grease. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's how I roll. Boomage. There you go, guys. That's all it takes, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of work, got banana trees and a blueberry bush. Shoot, dang. All right guys, I'm gonna end today's video right now. I'll come back in the morning and finish it, trust me. But I got some Brazos Valley soaps, I got paint, dirt, red dirt, rock, all sorts of crap on my hands. So I'm gonna see if Brazos Valley soaps actually does a job. We'll check back in here in a second. All right, guys, just like that, Brazos Valley Soaps did the job. Shoot dang, shout out to you, Rachel. Oh man, check out these hands, dang. Woo, yeah. Check her out on uh, BrazosValleySoaps.com, I believe. Hit her up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, her soap is amazing. It'll even clean up my attitude. All right, guys, so now it's starting to get dark. The insects out here living off-grid are insane. So I picked up something at Lowe's today. It's an insect killer torch. Basically, it's a tiki torch with a uh, built-in insect killer. No telling what they're going to come up with. But I did put it in over here. It is solar-powered. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Solar panels up top. If I cover it, it doesn't work. Well, shoot dang. Let's see. Ow! Freaking mosquitoes. I think there's a button somewhere on here. Maybe I gotta press the button first. Now I feel like I'm just uh, caressing this thing. Oh! -ho! Look at that right there. It's got like a built-in LED light. It is dark enough now to where... Look at that. It flickers. It attracts the bugs. It'll kill mosquitoes and flies and stuff. This was $39 for one torch. So this thing better work, otherwise I'm gonna be really, really mad because I'm very frugal with my money. But this is how much I hate mosquitoes and flies and stuff. So I guess here in a little bit, I'll come back out when it's pitch dark. We'll see what happens, but check that out, guys. Pretty cool. Let's see if it works. All right, guys, so it's been on about 30 minutes or so. It's actually working. I see a couple of bugs on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them on here, but I see actually quite a bit in there. So it does work. I guess I didn't waste my money. So get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. I think it's like I said, $39 or so, but you can see it's catching mosquitoes. That's for sure. Got to get my morning coffee. Woke up to the goats screaming, turkeys squawking, chickens crowing, dogs barking, Jared farting. Time for a cup of coffee. All right, guys, for some of you ding-dongs out there that are always complaining about me using off-grid in my title, you can use solar panels to charge these power banks. 
Who would have guessed? So yes, I am off grid at the moment. I have this little Jackery doing my mini fridge. I have the Ocmo charging batteries, have this little Keurig going on it. So yes, I am off grid at the moment. Once we get power, I will not use off grid in my title. It's pretty simple, people. Cheers, people. Whew. That'll do me. You see how windy it is outside? It's gonna be one of those days where uh, the audio is gonna be terrible. I'll probably just put a little bit of music over uh, whatever I do today, and then that'll pretty much wrap up the video. I did a lot of stuff yesterday. I think Jason is going to start working on the tiny house today. I'll go over there and help him out today. Uh, Danielle is, I think she's working tonight. So she's in town. Jason will be out here. Who knows when? He said he'll be here early in the morning. It's early in the morning. He's not here yet. So anyways, uh, when he gets here, we'll do some kind of work because that's what we do. And then uh, today is actually our older Bubba's birthday. So happy birthday, Matt. 39 freaking years old. Good grief. By the look of your white beard, I would have guessed you're older. Whew. Happy birthday, Bubba. You know what, guys? I decided I'm done working on my carport for, for today on this video. I will go ahead and end this one. It's already longer than usual. So anyways, I'll continue this on another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this type. I want to try to make a little bit longer videos. Uh, just keeping it extremely real in my videos. Uh, sometimes I cuss. It is what it is. Uh, I don't try to censor myself. I don't try to edit out a bunch of stupid stuff on my videos. You get what you get with my channel. And uh, if you want to stick around, awesome. If you don't, kick rocks. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. I would say peace, but I'm holding a piece of, co or a piece of coffee, a freaking cup of coffee. Bye people.